Hi, this is Lee Ellis with another installment of Leading with Honor Coaching. You know, March is a big month for me. It was March the 14th that I was released in Hanoi from being a POW and headed home. Now, I know many of you won't realize this, but that was 50 years ago this month. 50 years since we came home. So it's a very exciting year. It's going to be a big year for us, the 50th anniversary of the U.S.'s final uh, involvement in the war, the 50th anniversary of the return of the POWs. So a lot of celebrations going on. But we decided this year to also talk about resilience each month, and I'll be pulling in some stories from the POW camp. But also this year, uh, we have a new book coming out in May, called Captured by Love, Inspiring True Romance Stories from Vietnam POWs. And you talk about resilience, but those wives and families back home, you know, I was there five years, but some of my cellmates, six years, seven years, and two of them were there eight years, and they were married, and their wives were waiting on them when they came home. Now, that didn't happen in every situation, but those wives back home were really resilient. So there are a lot of lessons there, and I'm going to mention one of those. Uh, Smitty Harris, who's kind of one of the famous POWs, he was there almost eight years, and his wife Louise, and she was the first Air Force wife to be a POW MIA wife. So they didn't really know how to handle her, and she stood up and handled it well and was very resilient. They had two little children, and she was several months pregnant, uh, and she had a third child, a son, after Smitty was captured. Think about it, eight years, you're the mom raising those kids. And Smitty, I lived with Smitty for almost two years and what a great individual. Well, that couple, one of the things that you see in these stories in the book is how important faith and values were to their commitment and their resilience as both POWs and as wives back home. So we wanted to just talk briefly this month about your values and how important they are and how you have to stop and think and clarify your values, know what you stand for. Come to grips with your faith. You know, as a POW, I have friends who were uh, coming, they talk about coming down in their parachute in enemy territory and they started looking up and praying and they hadn't been praying that much lately. But, you know, when you're put in that situation, a tough situation, Turning toward God was very important in the POW camps and for the wives and families back home. But all of our values were very important. And you know, a few years ago, well, let me back up and say that in the POW camps, we had six articles, the code of conduct that we had memorized in our training. And every Army, Navy, Air Force, we all memorized the code of conduct, six articles about how we would perform and behave as prisoners of war. Well, a few years ago, we, my group, my organization, we put together an honor code. Now, the honor code has seven articles, and it's a graphic, it's simple, and it covers really all of the items of integrity and character and honor. So thinking about your values is going to be very helpful to you in being resilient because you're working to live in a certain way that you want to be and you're going to have less shame when you live that way. And shame undermines your performance. It's going to undermine your resilience. So honor and honor code, it's on our website. You can download it for free. Uh, I think we've had hundred, maybe a hundred thousand people already download it. And so it's been very popular. So check it out. Now, I mentioned the stories. We have 20 stories in the book and the stories of resilience and of values and how these couples were so aligned in their values. When Smitty Harris was released, he had been gone eight years since he'd seen his wife. And uh, he called home and his first words were, Jane, this is Tarzan. (laughs) She had no idea what he was going to say, but they had called each other Tarzan and Jane before, and they picked up, and they've been married more than 60 years now. So resilience is certainly there, and in their story, and in all the stories, but values was also very important there. In the POW camps, our leaders brought to us one phrase that stood for us and helped us stay connected and stay aligned with our values. It was resist, survive, and return with honor. 
resist, survive, and return with honor. And that was our mission, our vision, our values, all in about four words. I want to encourage you to think about honor, to think about your values, to get the honor code. You might check out my previous books, Leading with Honor and Engage with Honor. They're leadership books, but they all have stories from the POW camps. And take that into account. And also check out powromance.com. That's our website. And by the way, the book is available now for pre-sale. It'll be released in May. So go check it out and go ahead and put your order in. I think you'll love that book. Take care and God bless.